I'm James Stewart, I'm a TV presenter and a climate scientist, and I'm here with Tesco to find out how they're cutting their emissions in store and across their distribution network. Now, in terms of its own operations, Tesco aims to be carbon neutral by 2035. And I want to know how they plan on achieving that both in store and in their distribution centers, just like this one, by doing stuff like this. Cliff, so nice to meet you, James. In the unlikeliest of locations, I didn't expect to find a train station in the Tesco distribution center. Quite impressive, isn't it? It's incredible. I'm sort of wondering what it's doing here, and I'm hoping you can tell me a bit more about it. Uh, Devonshire Grocery has, has its own railhead, which is fantastic for us. It's been in, uh, it's been in use since 2006. The initial service was from here up to Moss End in Scotland. How much carbon savings are we talking by using rail? So that one service, which goes from here to Manchester, yeah. that saves around 6,000 tonnes of carbon a year. Just one? Yeah. And you've got one. 10 of those? And we've got 10 services, yeah. Even now, we deliver direct to store from these rail containers to just under 200 stores. Uh, but obviously for us, we have a lot of convenience stores. We wouldn't be able to rock up with uh, we're one of these rail containers, unfortunately. So we do what we can. Tell me this one runs on time. This train is absolutely run on time and it will leave in about an hour. Well, should we go have a look before it goes? Yeah, Come on. absolutely. How long have you been driving these trucks then, Cliff? Oh, since the 80s, would you believe? Hey. Yeah, 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 quite a while. But how long have you been driving electric trucks? Uh, only a few years. And what are they like to drive? They're awesome. They look awesome. They are. Can we jump in? Yeah, let's go. So this vehicle will take items from here, the distribution center, to the store. Yes. And it will do it completely electrically. It will. And it's not the only one, is it? No, we have a small number, but it is, it is a growing fleet. So this is the smallest battery electric truck that we operate today. We've started that journey, but there's still some way to go. And why haven't we got more of these? The biggest issue is the cost of the truck is more expensive. So no, the, the, the gap the diesel. Problems, yeah, yeah, versus diesel. And it's the infrastructure. Most of our distribution centers don't have a great deal of spare power capacity. So we have to go and ask for more. Let's talk future. Will we get to a point? Will I look around this yards and go, they're all electric. Will that happen? Yes. Yay! Simple answer. <laughs> Um, it's going to take us a little longer. We, we got a commitment to be fully zero emission by 2035. Take it away, Cliff. Lovely to meet you, James. To me, how are you? Very good, thanks. Bianca, in terms of in-store emissions, actually there's some quite good news, isn't there? You're doing some pretty good things already. We are using 100% renewable electricity across the estate. But as you can see here, we can feel a bit of cool coming out of the fridge. Yeah. We are rolling outdoors on fridges across our estate at the moment. Really? I always wondered that. Because there's a lot of energy escaping here, I guess. And there are things we can do about that? Yes, definitely. So when you put a door in a fridge, it actually saves 30% off the electricity. Wow. On the fridge. We've rolled out quite a few, about 60, over 65% in our convenience stores. And now we're just on the process to roll it out in large format cells. Well, from a new technology to a technology that's existed for all of time, the sunshine. You've done something very clever with that on the roof. Yes, we have. We do have solar here on this roof. Please, can we go and have a look? Definitely. Let's go. All right, I'll follow you. Bianca, yeah, this will never not be exciting to me. We're on the roof of a Tesco Extra store in Lincoln. We've got Lincoln Cathedral poking through the trees in the background and a sea of solar panels everywhere you look. What are these doing? That's right, James. So the solar panels on top of this roof are actually powering 20% off the store that we're standing on top of. Wow, it's literally below our feet right now. Yes, that's right. What specifically do they power? Refrigeration, lights, the whole thing? Yeah, refrigeration, lighting. But then on top of that, we're also converting our gas boilers to heat pump technology. Double win. Yes, that's right. The technology has improved from when solar first, you know, originated over a decade ago. So it doesn't necessarily need to be sunny. It just needs to have daylight. When we think about Tesco's own operations, the stuff that they can control, actually there's some really big wins in there, aren't there? Think about Cliff and his brilliant team, that electric fleet, that beautiful train that pulled in. And I mean, look where we are now, we're on a, a roof filled with solar panels in Lincoln. What's clear is the innovation is getting there more and more each time. All we need now for Tesco's own operations is scale. 